So part of your action management system talks about how to manage this process, which is getting all the stuff out of our head, all the things we need to do, collecting it and putting it into what you call buckets. Can you tell us more about that process? Let me address first, actually, why this, is, why this feels a little counterintuitive, especially to the really sophisticated professionals who may be watching this. <laughs> because I'm going to suggest that you need have to have as much integrity with how you handle, I need cat food, as you do, I need a life, or I need a new strategic plan, or I need a new vice president of marketing. Right? So in a way, you need to be equally rigorous about what all those things are. See, as soon as I need cat food pops into your head twice, that just means you're inappropriately engaged with your cat. Because there was some agreement, you needed to do something, and you're not handling that. You're not appropriately engaged with your agreement about that. And that will, <laughs> that the fact that you need cat food actually takes up as much brain space in there as I need a new vice president of marketing, if it's in your head. That's why it's such a bad office, because it doesn't know how to make those kinds of, those kind of judgment calls and those kind of evaluations. As a matter of fact, that part of you seems to be operating 24-7 with all of it. That's why everybody gets so stressed is because as soon as you file the stuff in the head, there's a part of you that says, well, Shelley, you should be doing that, right? You need cat food and you need to write the strategic plan and you need to hire the market. It's like, it's all going on there. You need to shut that monkey up. But you don't shut it up by trying to do all those things. You shut it up by defining what all those things are and then parking appropriate triggers and reminders in the right places. So your brain goes, ah, oh, I no longer need to handle that because the external brain is doing a much better job than I could. So it gets to let it go. That's the real key to being able to build you know, the free space inside, which then allows you to trust much more of the sense of real priorities and real meaningful stuff. You know, you put cat food where it belongs. You know? <laughs> cat food should not bother you more than once. It's not that important, right? And, but people are not handling the not that important things with a lot of integrity, and that's why they're taking up a lot more of the room and preventing people from being really as clear as they need to be about the meaningful stuff.